Welcome to Prayer and Coffee again on the road. Genesis 26. And Isaac dug again the wells of water which they had dug in the days of Abraham his father. For the Philistines had stopped them up after the death of Abraham. He also called them by the names which his father had called them. And also Isaac's servants dug in the valley and found a well of running water there. Later on today, Cindy and I are driving over to the Cane Ridge Meeting House, just east of Lexington, Kentucky. In August 1801, the United States was barely 25 years old. The days of Jonathan Edwards and the Great Awakening had begun to fade as the U.S. expanded and grew. And once again, the foundations of God and his word were slowly eroding in America. Immorality was spreading unchecked. And then the fire of God fell at the Cane Ridge Meeting House, what became known as the Cane, Cane Ridge Revival. A crowd of 12,000 to 30,000 at any one time encountered the supernatural at Cane Ridge. And America from there experienced the second great awakening. I don't know what we will find or what we will experience at Cane Ridge, but I know that America needs another great awakening and we're going to go to one of the original wells of revival for that generation. In Habakkuk 3, I have heard all about you, Lord. I am filled with awe by your amazing works. In this time of our deep need, help us again as you did in years gone by. And in your anger, remember mercy. Zechariah 10, ask the Lord for rain in the time of the latter rain. Let's pray. Lord, today we add our prayers to the generations of prayers. We add our faith to their faith, looking for the promised generational outpouring of Holy Spirit for our time on sons and daughters, young and old. Jesus, make alive in our hearts, our spirits, what our parents and grandparents and their parents prayed for. Renew in us the promise of outpouring for our families to know Jesus, in their hearts and lives, for our communities and our cities to experience a move of God so powerful that darkness is pushed back. People are saved and the atmosphere and the conversation is changed. Lord, we pray that you fulfill Acts 2.17 now. Pour out such a powerful move of your Holy Spirit that generations alive right now, today, begin to work together, drawing strength from each other as we work to see people saved, broken homes healed and restored, to see the present darkness in our land pushed so far back that there's another great awakening now. Father, let us redig the wells of revival and awakening that the generation before us experienced. Let us find your well of running water, rivers of living water, Lord, for this generation. And Jesus, in your name, as the Lord of the harvest, we pray. Amen.